put a new string on. This answers the question, what is Tim doing during AF? He plays his okay. guy in office. No, I'm writing. I really am writing. Look, see? I swear. I'm starting right now. I mean, what I have here is like, still just to get us going. Yeah. But uh, you should keep your eyes on it. It's great, man. The, well, it feels like it's it's uh, being it's coming together really well. <laughs> I don't know how to say it? I mean, we've got uh, the models in there, animations being done. Um, everyone's like on the same page for the most part. It's like Levi did so much concept art, um, and it looks amazing. And so everyone's like, "Yep, yep, all right, yep," and then you just, you know, just keep moving forward. Uh, okay, I'm gonna back away from this. Okay. Leave these two windows, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> There's a lot of heavy lifting, and everyone's working together, I think, really well, pulling it off so far. Yeah. Brandon's still implementing the, the chat stuff. I wrote a ton of dialogue, and so now Brandon has something to work off of. <laughs> what? This dialogue is great. Uh, <laughs> this is after you come back to him, and he stops spinning. Oh, holy cow, man. I never could have done that without you. You're really an angel, man. You're my angel. Are you freaked out? Oh, and then he starts asking you about it. <laughs> but I think, it's, I think it's safe to say that we're going to be super tight pals till the end of our lives. I mean, till we're dead. Haha, <laughs> you know, dying, man. What's up with that? It's so weird. Are you freaked out by that stuff at all? Actually, I mean, if you're willing to, um, like, throw a chunk of this over the fence to me, I'll probably just actually try and start getting some of this hooked up in the game. Um, okay. Like, because there's kind of there's kind of two chunks, right? Like, there's there's some of this stuff which is like, you know, you have a you have a sequence of lines that you want the guy to just deliver, right? And, and uh, we can we can get that hooked up pretty easily. Uh, I need to figure out whether that's part of the chat, like. AI system, or if that's something that we do separately, and then we kick in the chat AI system when you like talk over it or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I just have that dialogue, I can sort of like cut that up and show you what that looks okay, like. Okay, cool. Then we can record today. Okay. Cool, cool man. Thanks. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Keep going. Hey, uh, hey, uh, I was thinking uh, maybe we could be best friends. Hey, uh, be my best friend, eh? Be my best friend, please. It sounds perfect, man. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Do you mind if I just like fuck around yes. with it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Raz did a ton of uh, dialogue today uh, for Big, Big Leg. Uh, he's really funny uh, and he's super good. And even the sentimental stuff he was really good at because um, Big Leg's kind of a sad guy. Uh, I think Raz nailed it. I think mm. Big Leg, like everyone in the beginning of the game, all the guys are like, be my best, they're like, be my best friend, be my best friend, pick me, pick me, and they're all talking over each other. And then what happened, Big Leg shows up late, because he, oh. he's got that big leg, and so he's going to come in like 30 seconds late and be oh, like, okay. hey, me, uh, pick me, from far away. He's kind of like sad, eh? He's a sad guy. Oh, okay. Why Raz? Uh, he's, he's cool, man. And his personality is awesome. I don't know. He was, uh... Uh, I think anyone else would have made the same decision. <laughs> well, I'm Big Leg, but you know that already, um, oh, but you know that already, eh? I think he doesn't talk to people very often, because yeah. he's so slow. He doesn't, he can't, like, catch up with anybody to talk to anybody. So he's, he's nervous, he's excited to have a best friend. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, probably just because you chose me, you feel sorry for me. I mean, I got this leg and all, but... But that's okay. Uh, okay, so but he's that's okay. Haha, <laughs> he's, he's saying, uh, you probably just chose me because you feel sorry for me mm. with my leg. Yeah. But that's okay. Haha, <laughs> that's okay, man, you know. I understand. I understand, you know. I'll take it. Big leg takes what he can get. Oh, I get it. <laughs> he's, 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 uh, okay. <laughs> self pity. Like a lot of, he just like pities himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, big leg takes what he can get, man. Uh, that's not really coming naturally to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't really say stuff like that. Big Leg <laughs> takes what he can get. I'll take what I can get, man. Like, Big Leg takes what he can get, man. Uh, that sounds right, man. 
Yeah, this the way you just said it sounds yeah? good. Oh, okay. I've sat in a lot of patches, but you know, this one really, you know, it feels good, you know? Uh, it's easy on the leg too, you know? You know what I'm saying, eh? So, um, you, uh, have you ever had any body problems? <laughs> <laughs> you reading the, the next paragraph? Yeah, he's all like, he's so happy. <laughs> look at me being optimistic. <laughs> yeah, look at me, yeah. Look, ha, ha, he's know. all being surprised that, like, he's actually, like... That he's actually happy. He's, it's happening to him. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so this is, like, paragraph four. Take one. I found plenty of videos of people who just play very smooth, like, Smooth jazz no, uh, with horses, horses running, running on the beach. I love watching these. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it looks very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And we got some fighting too. Yeah. We're, we're gonna eventually get to that, but right now we're just working on a yeah, locomotion. Yeah, how does a horse fight? Oh, well, there you go, like that, I guess. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Just kick that guy in the face. If anybody cares to watch Whoa, these wild moly. nature videos, horses are mean. It's kind of scary. Actually. Horses are not friendly creatures. Jesus. Yeah, definitely. And that's some of the most exciting stuff, but also the most tiring. <laughs> I don't know. It's been interesting, too, just kind of seeing, um, just running from desk to desk and meeting to meeting and talking to people and my voice is going hoarse. And uh, I'm, that was not even a joke. I didn't even mean to say my voice is going hoarse, but it is. Sweet. We're going to be doing, um, checking out reference games at 2 and then mechanics a little later. Okay. And we're gonna be, we'll be streaming that. Um, we streaming that meeting, so we'll have just cameras in there. It'll be fun. Okay, all right. Thanks, John. Cool. That's awesome. Can't wait to these guys. <laughs> so first off, we're checking out Shadow of the Colossus HD collection. The cool thing is, it's a good. It's a cool sandbox for this yeah, character. Yeah, it's a great area to run around. That, that's what I was doing quite a yeah. bit of. I just kept running around. Uh, so that was cool. It just kind of turned into a let's check out some other games to reference um, meeting. So we looked at Shadow of the Colossus and The Last of Us primarily and kind of di tried to dissect what was going on animation-wise and control-wise with those two horses. And they kind of do get into a gallop animation pretty quickly. When you do the quick stop, yeah. there you go. Does, do you init initialize that and then he does it or... Is it like how responsive is how it? How responsive is it? Is it? Um, or does it? Is it, it just, takes a little bit. Is it just? And then you go straight yeah, into back, back like backwards. Back. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we're not doing backwards. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're not. No. So if you check out the way the, the character controls in the game right now, it's kind of what we're thinking that you, if you hold back on the stick, then the horse needs to turn around and then walk back towards the camera. Um, so it doesn't have strafes. It doesn't have. Rear, you know, going backwards. Oh, you don't want to do strafes? For fighting, during fighting? No. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll okay. Take that. We had that on our list, so I just... Okay. Ooh, check it, yeah. check it, take oh, it off. Yeah. So it's really about it's how done. can we get the turning to feel more you responsive. Really responsive yeah. turning. Yeah. Yeah. The t but the turning will be interesting because the horse is going to be the one turning, so it's going to have to feel quick, like your thumb is quick, right? Yeah. Um, Quicker than, than this yeah. and what's in there for or sure. most of those games for that matter. Yep. But, oh, uh, oh shit. there you go, <laughs> surfing. Oh X. Oh, X. X. Yeah. yeah. That's so well, this X and forward. X and forward. Yeah, you have yeah, to hold it. Yeah, you have to hold oh, it. Oh my god! Look at that. Oh, that was cool. Do you like that camera? Do you like that camera where it's off to the side that much? I I like the the camera that was off the side. You're not doing a lot in terms of um. Interact like. The, the objects in this land are really spaced out, and if you run over to the uh, the woods, it becomes a little bit harder to control because um, you can't see to one side of him. And the camera leads the turn, so the camera moves over to the, the right if you're turning right. Just watching it, if it feels cool. It lets you see the environment really well and kind of pick, you're kind of aiming where you're going in the yeah, environment, yeah, yeah. but you're not threading the needle with this guy much uh, or doing any you know combat in that particular mode. If he's close, he just calls. Look, Look at that room. <laughs> that is funny. They spent the time on the horse. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. He is so short. 
Oh yeah, let's look at that. Yeah. Look at yeah, that. his head his head doesn't come up to the, to and the top of the back. He can get on the horse too. It's crazy. He He's steps strong. on an invisible. He basically he steps on steps his leg. Steps on his shoulder. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like the saddle is strapped <laughs> to the horse. No, it's floating. it's just floating on top of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. It's super glued on top of him. Yeah, actually, it's glued. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Huh. That's true. <laughs> and that might be all for Wander. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Next game. I haven't checked this out in a while, but Wait, Last of Us has some cool horse. Right yeah, yeah, let's awesome. check it out. This is kind of the latest, you know, big budget horse that we've seen, so let's give it a shot. Uh, I didn't get to the horse <laughs> part, so I stopped playing it. I got tired of bashing zombies' heads in with a brick. <laughs> and, um,. The Last of Us uses horses in much smaller space. I don't even know if there's a place where you actually can gallop. Oh. Uh, if there is, not much. There's like one area where you have to escape with one. Um, so we'll see how this worked. And I think this is an evolution on the, the horse they did in Uncharted 3. Controls for this are more like what we're talking about, that I hold the stick back and the horse will turn and go back towards the camera. So I'm not having to spur it on. It's not like driving a car. Um, but the, the turning is still very slow. Um, You've got a, a shift, uh, a run modifier, if you hold down L2. And so he kind of does a little giddy up, yeah. It's it's the main cool if it was a sniff the ground when he's truly Or uh, yeah. hey horses. What, oh, do, yeah, does anyone know the what they're doing? Yeah, like what behavior that is, or is that just... Because all horses kind of do that. It's a communicate, it, They're counting. It's a communication One, thing. two, three. That's how horses count. OCD. seen that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we're, we're entering that part where we've defined a lot of the space we're going to go into, and so people can just hammer down and, and work on things. Um, I think we're going to see a huge jump in what's in the game tomorrow and the next day. Friday and the weekend is kind of a time for everybody to kind of look at what we've done, see where things are going, and if we need to make any major changes, that's the time to get them in the plan because otherwise we're kind of locked in and it's just going to be about Getting things feeling the best and playing the best uh, Basically today was just like okay, so now we have designed a, bu a whole bunch of stuff like how much time would these take? Do we need to scope further down? Um, making a more representative asset list for for um, for the art, art artists and for the artists, like you know, things here, the things that we need mocked up, and like you know, even down to like, okay, we'll we'll need an icon for you know when the game is running, perhaps stuff like that. Like, well, it's super fun because you get to be the decider. No, <laughs> I mean you get to you get to make like some interesting decisions, right? And uh, and it's really cool to um, to see how other people kind of work to like work on the vision of like that that you had or like you know what their interpretation is of it. And it's super exciting to see like the you know everyone's take on it or their their, their input on it and stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of there are a couple of elements in the scene that have audio, and that's the uh, the vista of course is going to have some some music and stuff like that. Um, and then there's also the radio that you have. It's like information is very important in this game, and the radio has. Uh, depending on what kind of control you have over the press, different ways of delivering news to you. Okay, so so essentially what um, the tone of the news reports is going to be, there's four different levels. There's one which is when you have not engaged at all with the press, and so the press is just super distrustful, like sarcastic, like anything you do is going to be taken badly. Second one is just standard, you know, news report you'd hear on the BBC or CNN or something like that. Um, uh, third one is the USSR report, and I want you guys to check out this, this video that we have, and it's basically like, sort of like reading to children with pride. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like there's like a lilting And then when the Americans yeah. come up, it's like dun dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the kind of like the slightly negative. I have the video, huh? So the whole purpose is uh, the tone, the tone behind the news yeah. reports. Because uh, I'm distorting all the words, so you can't you can't understand what she's saying. 
Yeah, and then the check out the North Korea one. So this is the stage four where it's just absolutely militant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the North Korea, it's all about strength and power. Yeah. Very forceful. Everything is precise. Strength, yeah. It's really sobering to watch because you can mm -hmm. tell like she can't mess up. Like, it's not acceptable. Alright, so I'm going to try, of course, I'm going to be reading the Double Fine's uh, NDA. Alright, ready? Ready. Without limiting the generality of the foregoing confidential information includes, but is not limited to, the following types of information and other information of a similar nature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome, you're totally assuming the role. So I'm going through and basically um, distorting her so you can't understand her. Um, so it's all about just conveying tone. So that was USSR, straight up reporting UK. It's all da 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 And then US, so very sarcastic. And then North Korea. Scary. I guess we're starting, are we starting this thing? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, man. This is happening? Okay. Uh, hi. Thanks for... Sticking out day one yesterday. Still here. That, was, that was awesome. Everyone, everyone came in. I don't think anybody left. We only had three people leave the team. Yeah. Oh wait, Elliot's out. Elliot's yeah, out. Elliot's wait, out. Wait, is he wait, what? Yeah. At home. Or did yeah. he die? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just at home. Uh, it's a mystery. We, yeah. It's yeah. A so yesterday, let's see. What did I do yesterday? Uh, it was all meetings, pretty much. Uh, we had some sweet story meetings and puzzle meetings and uh, trying to decide what the heck this game is exactly. Um, and there's a ton of great ideas thrown around um, that I'm throwing, we're pretty much throwing all, <laughs> all the ideas out and starting <laughs> over. Uh, Brad, what did you do yesterday? I, I did almost the same thing. Yeah, we were pretty much <laughs> in it. So. And then today, more meetings today. I think, yeah, sounds like it. Sweet. <laughs> It'll, I don't know, I don't know how adventure games work, because like, What's confusing to one person is not confusing to another person, it's and it's like, at it's the same such time, a hard it's... problem. I think we just gonna have to jump in, right? Yeah, I can't just, wait. You just, just tear it up, like, in. I don't know. We'll just, yeah, we just need... And it's about, yeah, I mean, it's a guy with amnesia, too, so it's like, like, the advantage to that is, like, there's a lot of, like, empty space, and it's noir, so, like, if we can't... We don't, if we don't have time to fill in content, it's just gonna be dark, right? Yeah, like, it's just gonna be, no, it's gonna be freaking slide try. map yeah, alighting. <laughs> it's just like revealing like a slice of the room, and yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> that seems awesome. Yeah. Okay. Right. So do you, do you guys, no, I'm gonna go back to my desk and think really, really hard. Or you guys are gonna <laughs> talk about. We're gonna figure out what, yeah, what we should start on. We're trying to set up the, the hub it's kind of similar to how Psychonauts worked a little bit, where you like kind of enter through a door, but then when you turn around, like where you were is gone. So we kind of have to manage all of the entities, like create them all when the door is opened, but then like get rid of the hub when the you know you pass through the door, and when you turn around, and the other half of the room has been created and stuff like that. So hopefully it won't take that long, but I mean, in order to get kind of the flow of the the world going and like get the artists actually being able to design rooms, we kind of need to get that stuff in first. So. Hey, there's the duck monster, everybody. <laughs> Is that really our first puzzle? Duck monster? <laughs> the thing with Amnesia Fortnite really is that everyone needs to stay busy every day. Like, if, you're, if you have a wasted hour, or if you have an hour where a programmer has nothing to do, like, that's a tremendous amount of time for the project. So you just have to keep kind of pushing forward no matter what. So, like, you know, we just need to make sure everybody's working. Um, so that's the tricky bit right now. So, uh, yeah, so, fun times. Just as an idea, so it's this abstract collection of ideas. It's an abstract silhouette of the idea of that shape. And so you'd be able, you'd, you'd have a bunch of those in your inventory, you'd be able to equip them, and they would come up kind of superimposed, and they'd probably be transparent. And then you would need to go into an environment where there are some objects that are kind of like fuzzy, is it? Like, like you can't really remember them and the memory's broken 
And if you stand in the right place and you line up multiple objects, they form that silhouette. So we don't have a good example of it yet. So this morning we were talking about you know, the actual fact that it's a very, very visual game, that it's a lot of the focus of the pitch and of Derek's idea is just the, the visuals. And then we started talking about, well, what if there were, what if you were taking shapes from one thing that maybe your memory misplaced and you were taking shapes that might not be the same context? I think the idea was the whole game becomes, I don't want to sound it like it's going to be simplified, but the whole really, the whole really game becomes find the position in which to stand, find the position in which to look, use the right object, and kind of combine those actions into a solution. Well, let's use the same object, let's use the example of the mechanic reaching for the wrench. Um, is it, do we replace it with a shape of a wrench that we actually picked up from something that wasn't a wrench? I don't know. Yeah. And then if this is, if this one's fuzzy and that so from other angles and then this that or, and then that this would mean no this <laughs> what, what, what is, okay so this is this is one of those like hanging overhead lamps oh yeah okay yeah and and it's like down over the table if you look at it from this angle you would just see the the whole wrench right mm -hmm. sitting on it oh Does so now you're sense? getting I'm, I'm sorry I'm like no no I get it no because I feel like this is such a this is the desk and you're looking down on it yeah yeah a lamp right here yes. So, so that, I mean, would this make sense? So from yeah, yeah. most angles, you would just be looking at the wrench and you'd be like thinking about the wrench and whatever. But once you use But the then actual... when, you, when you go over here and you're like, wait, if I look at it from the top down, you know, if I look at it more kind of with this. I just get the shape uh, of the end of the wrench. Yeah, well, like no, this, this would huh. be the shape. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Right? And then because you can put a chicken drumstick somewhere both, else. <laughs> yeah, right. And then when you, see, when you see the turkey leg with the bone that's all fucked up, you, you go, oh, I remember that. Where have I seen that? And that was in this goes in your, your oh, This goes in your inventory, right? Week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. when, when this person interacts with it, it's like, ah. it's, it's like, it just sort of, yeah, yeah fart yeah. noise. And then, <laughs> and then it, and then it Yeah, that's perfect. The fart noise is going to be great. I will say, let's go with the wrench thing. Because that lets you have a little bit of this moving around in the environment, too. Turkey leg. Turkey leg. The turkey leg. I don't know how you explain mechanic. this. Mechanic. <laughs> it's a weird, that's, it's, that, that's, the turkey it's leg's the all fucked up. It's the, yeah, yeah. man. We're do you want to just try this thing? Yeah. Sure. Okay. If we can get enough art, man, we could do like, we could do, we could do, do like, puzzles. we could do 200 <laughs> puzzles in two weeks. We're just going to be moving Why would you say that when there's a camera? <laughs> 200 puzzles. <laughs> in two Have fun weeks. with that. Watch, we'll show it to Derek and be like, turkey legs. <laughs> Fucking don't hate it. Don't hate it. So Brad uh, is thinking that maybe we're taking uh, uh, shapes that we're combining that, that you see. Like you take, uh, he had the, the, the very uh, awesome example uh, of like a turkey leg with like uh, a wrench end. And then you would take that, uh, that shape and then place it over like a wrench in a different memory to like complete the, the wrench. I guess I'm having a hard time coming up with, I feel like I'm trying to design it, but I don't really know how to design a game. Hmm. Um, Head was not me. Yeah. I uh, just trying to like, I needed his guidance for like, finding a good direction to take the design. Uh, now it's like actually, for real, like, we gotta start building it, so. I think I'm just like, right now I'm like in the deep end and I'm like, trying to paddle as hard as I can. I'm not really worried about uh, if I'm having fun or not. I'm just trying to like survive right now. It's hard to like proceed with what I have. I think I think because working with Brad, he wants to make it more mechanical, mm. uh, and I'm trying to make it more like um, you know uh, adventure gamey, I guess, but with uh, some like more surreal puzzles. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I was thinking of it originally as. I think I understand the way you're approaching it, which is um, it's not like a hard lock and key puzzle where you get the red key card and it works the red door. Right. It's more of a surrealist kind of suggestion. And it's really just clues. Um, it's like a dream logic thing or something. There's like one word that connects them mm -hmm. and you're making that connection. And it doesn't really make sense why you put a Zeppelin on a pedestal would make a room light up, but right. it does in the dream in, in that way. Right. Brad's smart, he'll figure out. I know. And, and he really, he, I don't, like, he really helped me yesterday. Like, I was totally lost and 
he um, like gave me a direction, but now yeah, I'm sort I think, of. I think I understand the way you're talking about the game being. I don't know if I totally understand the way he was talking about the game being. You're like combining silhouettes to make one whole item, I guess. It's like d making a visual mnemonic uh, of an item, which sounded really interesting. Um, it's very different, though, than what I was thinking. If it just reduces the game to like a pattern matching thing, it seems like it loses some of the narrative, like, the cool, um, the cool narrative part of it. If it's like, you know, I'm really interested in this mystery. Now I've got to solve a tanogram. But is that what he's saying? Kind of, I guess, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you got to know what you think, you know what I mean? Because right. um, if you say you went with someone else's idea of what your game could be, mm -hmm. and then two weeks are over, and it's like, uh, people didn't like it, and it wasn't the thing that I was trying to make in the beginning, mm -hmm. then you got, you can't, it's not like you can point to someone else and go like, well, he made me do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're the project leader, you got to be like responsible for making it good and if you have this idea that made you excited in the beginning I think you should um, as long as you can get in touch with what's cool about it to you and talk about and talking to different people sometimes just talking about it makes you more clear about oh this is why I like this idea yeah. um, and then you can just point out to people like oh, your ideas are good but I think in this case this is what I'm going for and I want to I kind of want to stick to that and support it okay. yeah. yeah that's all I want to do so I think we're gonna do it <laughs> I think uh, yeah and we'll just figure it out. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's definitely good to be open to other people's ideas and suggestions, but right. if you um, if you give in on things you actually care about just because you're not sure how to say that you care about them, then you'll just kick yourself later. Mm. Yeah. Right. Because this is your chance to make your game. Right. Yeah. And trick your leg with a wrench on it. Who? Who? <laughs> that's crazy. That just doesn't make any sense at all. No, I'm sure it makes sense. I'm sure it makes sense when he explains it. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. He can make the tricky leg wrench game himself. <laughs> Next day up, he can yeah. pitch that. Yes, thanks, right. sir. Good luck. Good Thank luck you. out there. Yeah. yeah. He's so dead. He's so dead. No, he's he's gonna be great. I feel bad that um, you know, when he first when he first picked um Brad to be on his project, I was like, that's an interesting pick because Brad's so mechanically focused. I wonder how that's gonna go, but Brad seemed excited to. And it looks like Brad's trying to come up with ideas to add to his project. Hopefully it'll work out. Uh, there's definitely no normal. Every project is totally different. Um, it's definitely, it's different maybe for, you know, being in a position where you're doing a creative thing, where, where you feel really vulnerable about it, and then you're trying to influence other people to, like, go with you. And, like, that's a weird thing. The weird position to be in if you've never been in that position before. And um, so I think we'll see with the, the people who are, doing that for the first time, how they learn to, like they'll learn to do that, do that well, or else they won't be happy with their, they won't be happy with their game.